Hey, how's it going out there? We're at Ollie's in Toms River, New Jersey. And word on the street is there's new figures hidden right now. So maybe the Toms River Ollie's has something new. Let's see what we got. Cue the music. Let's go have a good toy hunt. Let's go have All right, starting right off, it looks like they have a bunch of Rey Mysterios. They're loaded up here today, and they're only $6.99. That's a pretty good deal, but I mean, they are loaded, so that's pretty cool. They also have a bunch of Ric Flair still for $3.99. That's a really good deal still, but there's no NWO Hogan's. We also have a bunch of these starting lineups still. They're still loaded up for $7.99 a piece, so... If that's your thing, come and get them. We got Agent Jimmy Wu here, White Panther, a lot of the Black Panther wave, and they're still loaded up with a lot of Eternal figures, so. But this is what we have for the Marvel Legends right now. Still pretty much all the same stuff, nothing new. They're still loaded up with these Mario Brother movie figures with the Cat Mario. We got regular Mario. They also have Kamek, so not bad for $9.99. They're still stocked up on these. It looks like in the regular Star Wars Black Series, all that they have right now is that Princess Leia, the um, Ewok Village Leia. So that's all that they have in the regular Black Series. But in the Archive Wave, they got plenty of these Dengars and Lando Calrissians left, but that's all that they have in this Archive Wave right now. Nothing new but they're still loaded up with these two figures. And there's still a couple of these credit collection Moff Gideon figures left. So it's not bad for, you know, $7.99. The paint job's a little weird. It's not too crazy, but it's still a pretty good pickup for that price. They still have a lot of these retro Star Wars figures right now. The Armorer. They also have the Grand Inquisitor, Bo-Katan. But it looks like that's all that they have for them. So there's no more Ahsoka or Obi-Wan. and Yeah, that's what we got for the retro collection. There's one last figure from the Snake Eyes wave for the Joes for $4.99. But that's all they have left of these G.I. Joe classified figures. They still have a bunch of these Zio Yellow Ranger figures in stock for $7.99. So they've actually been sitting here for a little while. It looks like there's only one Battle Cat left for $9.99, so they totally sold out, except for this one. These Stranger Things figures have been here for a while for $9.99. This 11 figure, they haven't really been moving much. This is new. They have a bunch of these Mission Fleet Mando figures with this little gun, this Hover E-Web cannon he got, so that's pretty cool. They got a bunch of them stacked up with them i mean stacked up so that's something a little new oh this is new these are um bigger gi joe like a kid wave of them but they got cobra commander looks like they got snake eyes there's a um roadblock so this is new these bigger figures so that's pretty cool if it's your thing. I like the better, I like the classified series a lot better than these ones, but that's not bad. It's pretty cool. It's always good to see something new here. <laughs> this is the first time I'm seeing this here too. It's a fart cart. It looks like it makes fart sounds and you can really cruise it around. Good old fart cart. So that's new here for uh, $29.99. So. I don't know how good of a deal that is, but if you want a fart cart, there you go. And they're still totally stocked up on these Dungeon and Dragons figures for $9.99. So it looks like these aren't really mo moving too much. Same thing for the movie figures. They're still totally stocked up here. 
$9.99 is a good price, so I guess people just aren't interested in them at all, unfortunately, because they're all made pretty well, but they're still loaded up here. Have you seen my red stapler? Because I am looking for my red stapler, and I would really appreciate it if you gave it back, because I said you, 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 I let you borrow my stapler, please give me my red stapler. All right, let's take a walk down to the graphic novel section, see what kind of comic books they have here today. Maybe there's something new in this section. It's a new Fantastic Four book. Not bad. $9.99 for a nice hardcover. I don't think I, I don't think I ever read this one, but not bad. Here we go. We got the Mighty Valkyries. This is new. $3.99. Really good price. Children of the Atom. $4.99. Oh, this is pretty cool right here. $4.99. Star Wars Legends. This is actually, I think, the old um, Marvel comics from back in the day. So that's pretty cool. I might actually have to pick that one up. It's a good deal for $4.99. And yeah, it is all the classic Marvel Star Wars comics the originals so yeah i might have to get this that's pretty sweet wonder woman through the years a nice little collection of stories not bad 8.99 really good deal doomsday clock part one it's where the watchmen get into the dc universe how they reboot from the 52 universe back to the original dc universe I remember when this was coming out, it took a while for it to come out. $8.99 for Batman Eternal. That looks pretty sweet. Some nice artwork, too. $3.99 for this Justice League book. This is pretty new, too. This is where they started changing back to, like the paper look for all the art they change it from like magazine paper to this like regular paper and it really makes everything pop especially when it's the black canvas behind but it's a good comic good trade for $3.99 Supergirl volume 3 from the new 52 I actually like the 52 the new 52 when they did all 52 titles reboot them and reset them with jim lee redesign them all and they came out with this big reboot for the 52 universe but i actually enjoyed it so it was a nice little phase in dc but not bad 3.99 it's a good deal earth one these stories were always good this was when they went back through and redid the origin of some of the DC characters. This is volume two, but it was a pretty cool Batman story. And they tried to set it in more of like a real world setting to where uh, everything would make more sense and it was more realistic. But I liked them all. I liked the Superman and Wonder Woman, Batman, they were all good Earth One stories. So it's good to see this year. Really good deal for $5.99. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. Until we meet again, peace.